What I love about a young generation that is emerging in, in church and in worship is that there's a big view of the kingdom. And what I mean by that is this isn't about getting souls saved to, to be in heaven someday. This is about seeing the kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And there's something beautiful about that because I don't think justice work and evangelism work are meant to be separate. I think they're meant to be interlocking and overlapping. So I would say you, you guys get a chance of putting things together that previous generations have kept apart. Uh, you get to put good news to the poor and bind up the brokenhearted and freedom for the captives and the anointing of the Spirit. You get to put all those things together, which is a really beautiful thing. You don't carry the baggage in, of these divisions like previous generations do. And in a similar way, I don't think you have tribal denominational um, loyalties in the way that maybe previous generations did. So you're free to be enriched from a diverse stream of the body of Christ. You can, you can learn from historic traditions and you can learn from, you know, fresh kind of innovations and, and, and be anchored in the scriptures, be anchored in theology, uh, and, and yet draw in a new way on the canvas. So I, I think there's, there's something beautiful here. Uh, I, I, I would encourage you to keep, keep leaning into your community, keep leaning into uh, the Lord. Uh, through the Word, through your prayer life, through the Holy Spirit. And, uh, and, and again, what, what I love about this generation is you're not looking to do this alone. We're not looking for the next great whomever. Uh, we're trying to be a, a community that together embodies uh, the coming of the kingdom.